Hey, everybody. Who do we have on stream today for the Alfolk uh, stream? Oh, my gosh. Can you tell? I, I am not like fully here this morning. It's I'm super, super tired, but I'm super excited to be here with you guys. We are going to have a Super Bowl or Superb Owl of a time. Um, OK, that was a really bad joke, but I don't care. I don't care because today is going to be really fun. We're going to talk about owl folk. Uh, we're going to make some owl folk and we're just going to kind of nerd out today. So it'll be some cool art stuff. My name is Jimmy Van Dorn. I'm the founder and CEO of NeverEnding. We are making a really cool web app for you guys to create awesome web comics and animated videos. And characters are a huge part of that. Um, yeah, so let's kind of dive in. By the way, so I'm going to show you guys my messy desk. If, if I'm struggling, this is part of the reason why. This is where my cat thinks she needs to be while I'm working. Like right there, right where, right, right where if I wanna type, it's not gonna happen. She's so bad. But her name is Wolf. Uh, she is a wolf cat, half wolf, half cat, half pain in my katukis. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to move her out of the way. Oh, she doesn't like when I pick her up. Go, go, be free. Um, but yeah, let's dive in. This is the app. If you haven't been to our Never Ending Character Builder app, this is it. This is where you can make really cool uh, 2D avatars um, for all of your D&D stuff. If you see me look away, by the way, it's because I'm checking out the chat. Uh, this is where you can make cool 2D avatars. We are recreating all of these cool assets in 3d so that these will be fully posable and you'll have pre-programmed poses and pre-programmed animations so follow us and you know stay tuned <laughs> all right so here we have some different body types and everything and i was thinking about who it was that we want to create who ha every time i say who i'm 100 percent gonna like pause because i'm in alpha mode so the thing is is we wanted to kind of make these available because of Strixhaven. If you haven't seen Strixhaven or you don't know what it is, it's this D&D setting that, it's actually a Magic the Gathering setting um, that has been ported into D&D 5e. They have, as you can see, they have owl, owl folk who they call Owlin. I'm trying not to say Owlin too much because I, I don't need a cease and desist from Wizards of the Coast. You know, they have a little bit more money than me. So if they do a cease and desist, I'll have to listen. But anyways, like they've got cool owl art and everything. And we wanted to make it so that you could create cool owl characters as well. And there's so many different kinds of owls. It's crazy. Like if you haven't, if you haven't like gone online and like, look at this, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Um, if you haven't gone online and seen like how many different kinds of owls there are, it's actually really hard to create something that hits that hits everything. Um, but we did our best and we're going to show that off to you. If you guys have ideas for our character in this, uh, that would be really cool. We're going to start with a little bit of a thicker male body. So as you can see, we've got all these bodies. I can click some of them and they kind of work for me because... Um, I have like admin privileges in our app and everything. So I will say that right now the app is gonna be a little bit slower than normal because I've got the app open, I have Zoom open, I have Discord open, and my and I have a bunch of uh I have a bunch of windows. <laughs> a bunch of tabs on my Chrome browser open as well and, and Twitch is open. So my computer is freaking out memory wise. But we do have these really kick-ass bodies and stuff. Um, different body types. If you guys have any recommendations, just let us know. We've got we've got lots of stuff coming uh, down the pipeline as well. Um, you probably saw our little ad promo for this, where I was showing off uh, one of the alpha folk I had already made, and it's it's in this body. I'm just gonna pull her up really quick. So I'm going into my library. Uh, you can see we've got tons of characters in our library, but if I go here, I can just quickly edit this character. I don't actually want to edit her. Oh, it looks like 
here we go. I don't actually want to edit her, but you can see that if I, it's going to take a moment to load. If I check out the bodies and stuff, it's going to show me that I used kind of this dwarvish female body for her. Um, but she's pretty cool. Madrigar. So I'm just going to go over to, Mo to more and I'm going to hit this new character because I don't actually want to edit her. So I'll hit new character. Now I'm back. Clear stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a bug for the devs. We got a bug for the devs, folks. Um, it, uh, did you see this? It kept the name, even though I hit new character. So I will let the devs know that that happens. By the way, if you guys have like things that happen, all you have to do is we have on the far, far, what's that way? Left? Left. Yes, left. Sidebar. The support and feedback thing. So I can hit that and I can say, hey, I need some help. And it'll open up a window that gives me like a Google form to fill out. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to make an owl folk. Without further ado, let's pick this body. Let's call him. What's a good owl folk name? Somebody give me a good owl folk name. I'm thinking Horus. Horus. The owl. I don't know why Horus is a good owl folk name. I, it just feels right to me. Horus. Uh, so, Hor oh, I can't spell. Well, I guess I could spell Horus however I want. How would you spell Horus? I feel like there should be a C in there. Horus. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, Babs. Horus. There we go. I don't know why I felt that. Ooh, Alfred. Alfred Hubert. Actually, hold on. Watch this. Whoops. He is now Horace Alfred Hubert the third. Alfred, oh my gosh. All right. I don't know who. Alfred. Alfred. Yes. All right. We've got Horace Alfred Hubert the third. I'm going to save this right, right now. I just, I don't want anything to happen to this. So I'm going to go into our heads. You'll see that we've got like human heads and beast heads, lots of crazy heads. Uh, we will get some more. I would love for folks to shoot us some art references for head ideas that they think we should have. But for now, we're going to go into beast heads. And the first thing that shows up are these cool bird heads, and then we've got these cool like draconic heads and stuff. This one is not really a fit. That's more like an eagle. This is just your kind of basic bird head. It's this one. Here we go. Look at this. You can already see some of the patterning. What's crazy about this is if I open the color picker, this has like five layers of color in it. Five layers of color. I think we could have done more, but uh, <laughs> I think the illustrators would have like quit if I had asked for like one more color because seriously, it's hard to vectorize this and like keep all the layers clean and make sure it, it works. I'm a big one. I, I do want to color this, but I kind of want to get some eyes on it first. So I am going to go into the eyes. The first ones are going to be just these kind of like human eyes. But if I scroll way, way down, like I could legit do non owl eyes but it's a little terrifying these are all anime eyes that you get if you create 10 characters in the app so really you could just create 10 randomized characters and then you'd get all of these anime eye options these ones have the eyebrows built in and the reason why is because some of the eyebrows like they just wouldn't work with other eyes so we just went and, and put them all together but we don't uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's killing me. I'm sorry. Let's just give it one second. Let's just let those eyes live there for one second. We're not gonna, we're not gonna keep them there. Uh, all right, it, it opens to this mouth first. We haven't added other mouths to this head. And the whole thing is, is like for some of these heads, there isn't going to be a mouth. It's all gonna be under not noses, but be snoots, snoot, snoot. We got beast snoots coming up. Um, and this gives us kind of 
some different options. Obviously, the dog option is not really what we want, nor is the... <laughs> oh, I'm dying over here. <laughs> Neither... <laughs> Neither. This is not an alpha. Oak. I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, right, Ashley. The snoot. Babs is one hundred percent right. Snoot is the way to go. He does look really happy now. But but Horace Alfred Hubert the third can go really goofy. But I think right now we're gonna go more serious. So you can see we have this owl beak. We have this cool eagle beak too. Isn't this sharp? Ha. <laughs> Get it sharp because it's an eagle beak. All right, I'll beak. I'll beak. We're not gonna throw any facial hair on this one, and there's no facial hair assets attached, anyways. Um, we should probably do some stuff to like dress it up, like get some like feathers coming off the sides or something. That'd be pretty sick. But let's go back to our eyes. All right, now that we have a snoot in, like I feel like Horace is serious. Oh. Dude, those work. Those work surprisingly well. I love, I actually legitimately like this set of anime eyes with, with this. We're not gonna stick. What just happened to my eyes? No. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Emergency, Will Robinson. There we go. I'm I'm like I'm liking this a lot. Oh, we can go cat eyes. Oh wow! Cat eyes work too. This is, I. we are coming up with all sorts of surprises. I love discovery. This is super fun. We're gonna just keep going down. Um, we do need to tag some of these. These are like eagle eyes. Eagles are like, I don't know why eagles are perpetually angry, but apparently in our world, eagles are perpetually angry. We can go with like these eyes or these eyes. The little white part is like, uh, meant to show like kind of the shine which once we color the eye you will see it we're gonna go with kind of a i know now i know before the irl folks come after me i know that in real life female owls don't have eyelashes like human eyelashes i don't know if they have eyelashes like in general but what we wanted to do was because this is like kind of cartoony, we wanted to give the option to have kind of that that masculine or feminine um, kind of cue. Um, but it's not necessary to use. We just knew that knew that some people, you know, might like that. So I'm going to go with more like a barn owl, not a barn owl feel. I do this all the time. I always think that those like flower faced owls, those really pretty owls should be barn owls, but they're not. Uh, but or I should not be barn owls, but they are. Let me try this whole sentence again. So you know those owls that have like the really pretty faces? Uh, they're like all round and they look really interesting and fantastic and magical. It always surprises me that those are barn owls. Like I always think those should be like called something really, really cool and not a barn owl. That just seems so pedestrian. Um, but we're gonna, I, especially because like uh, there's an old folk tale that I that I read um, about these two wizards and you know how they made this girl out of flowers and then she you know betrayed their son and then they turned her into an owl and she and they called her like flower face or something I don't know I I should probably look up a folk tale if I'm gonna reference it before I talk about it because then it just sounds like word garbage coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to do a, a kind of great horned owl. And so we have, uh, we have ears that we can add. I don't think any of these ears are really a fit for a great horned owl. Um, but, oh, but look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Great horned owl ears. And we can flip them up or flip them down. These are two really fantastic options. I feel like he's like kind of proud and I want to give that kind of cue up that he's proud. So we're going to, uh, <gasps> somebody put the flower face all up. Thank you, Babs. Thank you for doing that. Um, so we're going to keep the up ears, I think. And then we're going to go back into the body really quick. Um, 
and pull in bird hands. Look at this. Look at, I don't know why this is gray. Why is this gray? These are dragon hands. I'm going to say Dragonborn. I'm going to say Dragonborn live on Twitch, and I dare WOTC to, to stop me. Dragonborn. I'm going to say Dragonborn five times fast. Dragonborn, 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 Dragonborn. We, oh. Um, so for our illustrators, our dragon, our mature male, our mature male body is, or mature masculine body, sorry, is missing the left hand uh, cap. So we're really about representation and stuff. And so we have like prosthetics as well as caps to represent amputation. Um, we will have some that are, I think it's in arms that we can do this. We can actually include prosthetics. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's slow. Sorry, folks. Give me a second. My computer is freaking out because it's mad at me for having too much stuff open. Oh, actually it's not. I just don't know what I'm talking about. This one also just doesn't have all the prosthetics attached to it. Well, poo. Poo on that. That's okay. We'll talk to the illustrators and we'll get those prosthetics up. But anyways, we're going to go with these cool bird hands. And then, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys a mistake that I just discovered yesterday that I made. I made a mistake. I make lots of mistakes. This is not a surprise that I made a mistake. But look at these. These are a little bit more kind of eagle to me, but they could be owl. Owl legs just as easy. But look at this. Look how sweet that is. Um, I'm gonna go with these though. We're gonna re. We're gonna update the color pattern on these though, so that the the leg isn't all one color. Because the issue is, I think that. Like you probably want the feet, like the feet feet to be a different color than the legs so that you kind of have that feather down to feet, like just like this is, just like this is. And I think we can do something really similar to this, but maybe just move the feathers further up the leg. So for now, we're going to pick these and then watch this. This is where I made the mistake. Hold on. All right. These are our skins. So like you could legitimately add like a cyborg skin, which as you can see, this is a problem because this that cyborg skin has feet and it shows up and those show up over. The same with the dragon can. We basically need like a dragonborn skin that doesn't have the feet in it. Or we could just give him, give our Horus a feathered body. Yeah, right? Right, uh, right, Valentine, these skins look sweet. And then look at this, hold up. I gotta show you guys something. This is so sick. Hold on, let me uh, go into Equip really quick. And this is still, I don't want anybody to worry that we're going R-rated here, but we are gonna take Horace's underwear off. So if there are any, anyone that's gonna be offended by a naked owl folk, now is your chance to turn away. <laughs> I love that I took the pants off first while I'm telling people they can turn away and not not see the uh, the naked owl. Where is, there we go, unselect that. So let's go back into the build. I wanna show off, like, I'm not gonna color this skin. I bet for anybody like hopping into the stream right now, they're like, WTF, what the hell abomination is that? But look at this. Five, five colors for this, five colors. This is like a sick skin. It's so cool. Um, even the, the Dragonborn one is pretty cool. That has, oh, get out. The Dragonborn has five. No, lies and deceit. It just didn't update. <laughs> the Dragonborn has four. I didn't think, I didn't think so. Uh, and then I, I am 90% sure that the hair, the hair's color as well. Hold on. At least they're supposed to. They're supposed to. Hold on. Oh, slow. You can, that roaring sound, by the way, that is legitimately my computer. That's the fan for my computer, like freaking out. Oh, I love the reference image. Babs is going to like mess me up with all the reference images. Hold up. Hold up. 
Oh, come on. So our app does get slow sometimes, but this is all my computer, everyone. I'm gonna, it's, it's really mad at me right now. Nope. So another thing to note that some of these hairs are not set to color. They were, I think it just got turned off. So sometimes when we update stuff, it doesn't like, it, it causes a bug somewhere else. So let's pull up the bird skin though, that has the feed on it. This is problematic. Um, huh. Somebody changed the Z index for this. I'm going to fix this really fast. You guys, um, just bear with me. Watch this. Well, you can't watch it because I don't want you. I'm opening up a different screen because you can't like, you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, this is all me. I changed this on the, on the dwarf body, but I didn't change it on the, um, on this body. What I, I'm going to do is we've got this handy dandy uh, tool where I can change the Z index of stuff. So I'm going to go and control F and go to owl. Uh, oh, this is super cool. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go into fitments. Actually, I should show this. You guys would like think it's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe. I just apologize that you're watching me just talk. Uh, change this to 30, update, watch this. I'm going to go back to art list. And now I'm going to control F and search out again. Um, one minute, one minute. Don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me, everybody. Don't leave me yet. I'm almost done. It's going to take just a, another moment. Ah, I'll mature like, right? One sec. I know this is like so boring. You guys are like, what? What is going on? Uh, whoops. I have the wrong thing. I don't want part view. I want fitments. Fitments is such a weird word to say. Like I was very against it at first, um, but now, now I'm okay with fitments. All right. 30. Submit. Watch this. <clears throat> Watch this. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. That, that's weird. Um, I don't know how that happened. I refreshed and I got the wrong character. Let's try this. Ta-da! Legs are now above the skins. We're gonna redo the the this bird skin so that it doesn't have like kind of this leg issue. Um, but for now, for now, let's get into some head coloring because this is kind of the fun part. Let's color the eyes first. Um, is everybody chill with that? How many people did I lose from? <laughs> oh, I didn't lose anybody. Yay, he lives. That's right. All right, let's get the eyes. Um, we want a bright, bright yellow as the base for these eyes. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick like kind of this golden, this golden yellow, I think. Right? Yeah, that's sharp. And then we're going to go in and we're going to color the black part. Do, do, do. Color in the inside of the eyeball. It's inside of the eyeball. It needs color. Color. There we go. I'm sorry. Did you guys, do you guys like my singing? Should this become like a singing channel? Um, the cool thing is, is I can actually change this tint as well. If I wanted to make the tint like less, like brilliant, shining, blinding white, I can actually go up here my favorite hair metal song. Careful what you wished for, because I will sing. I have so little shame. I have so little shame. I will sing. I will sing. We legitimately lost somebody from my singing. Like we just dropped from, we dropped from 11 viewers to 10. And I, I legitimately think it's because of my singing. Somebody was like, no way. I cannot deal with this. I can't blame them. I can't blame them too much. All right, we got our eyes colored. We're gonna save this. 
And then we're going to move over, color the mouth really fast. So that way, when we focus on the head, we will just be focused on the head. And we'll color the ears last and then we'll uh, and then we'll move on to the body and then we'll get Horace Alfred Hubert the uh, third dressed because right now he naked he naked. Um, but I figured, you know, one of the weird things is in all the Strixhaven art and everything, all of the Owlin are, are, uh, oh shoot. I, uh, I, <laughs> I turned the mouth off. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, all of the Owlin are, uh, like dressed and I'm like, but they have feathers. Like you wouldn't be able to see any, but like, there's no reason for them to be like fully, fully dressed unless it's like kind of fitting in culturally maybe. I don't know. What do we think? You're great. You know what we need on this beak? We need like uh, an alternate color. We need like an alternate color on the beak so that you can have that kind of two-tone thing. That'd be sweet. Um, I think we should go a little darker on this, but maybe pull in some yellow tones. What do you guys think? More yellow? It's so hard to like. Ooh, I think this will be good. Let's turn off the picker so that the highlight doesn't interfere with the color and we can see what this looks like. He needs like some, uh, you know, oh, that's what he needs. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Watch this, watch this. Horace looks too like surprised right now. Here it comes. Boom. That one or or that one? Hold up. Nope. I like that one. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yes. Then let's just check the uh, let's hold on. Let's check the the Yeah, all right. See now I'm a fan again of uh I'm a fan again of the uh of the downward. I'm a fan of the downward. Let's check it with the uh look look at how much variety you have in in all folk just in like just with these couple of features. Like just between the ears, the eyebrows, uh, and then all your all your cool eye options. Uh and this is before we even get into color. This is crazy. It's crazy amount of stuff. Or a fantastical. It's a fantastical. Um amount of really cool options all right we want to go with i think kind of a creamy a creamy color i want to get this back in the yellow and orange tones so that we can we can uh kind of stick in some same themes oh oh i didn't realize that was the base uh, i think we need to go with something much darker for the base <laughs> That is super light. Um, let's go with like a dark brown. A dark brown. Oh, I dig it. I dig it. I'm gonna just make a note of the hex color, which you can see right here. Unf it'll it saves a lot of my early um, palette options, but I always like to write down my hexes in case I want to use them. Um, we'll get into the next accent. So we can go with a more grayish version of the brown, I think. That, oh, sweet. Let's get into accent two, which is gonna kind of be this fill-in area. Now I can leave this white, but I feel like, mm, let's, leave, let's, move, let's move on from that first. Let's move on here. Um, what do you think? Do we wanna go lighter or darker in here what do you guys think lighter or dark oh that's a good example right there i think we go a little lighter what do you guys think lighter this little lot of mine i'm gonna let it I, where did that come from so this is the joy of the adhd brain like unleashed like out of nowhere like this totally ridiculous song comes out oh my goodness 
<laughs> and this is like going to be recorded. Like we'll have this on VOD. So this is captured forever. This is no fun. Oh no, did my, we went down to nine. Did my singing get rid of another person? I'm wondering if I can sing enough that there's only me and Babs left on the channel. Is that a possibility? I, maybe I shouldn't be aiming for that. Maybe that's not, maybe that's not the best target goal. All right, what do we think? Oh, that's sick. That is sick. I can turn this off if I don't want the highlights to interfere. Um, I don't know, he is coming along. That is pretty sweet. I think, I think we can do more though. Let's see. We've got this area. I'm going to leave that is white. And I think I'm going to repeat this color around the eyes. I think we're almost there. I think we are almost there. Um, we left accent too blank before. Let's bring in like another really dark color. Um, let's make it more interesting. Let's bring in some redder tones for this, I think. Hold on. You can see when my brain like turns to more like analyze mode because <laughs> I get all serious and not as animated. No, come down here, color. There we go. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think the, the white is too, the last of the white is too stark. The last of the white is too stark. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the, the uh, whatever color I just did as, uh, I'm gonna bring that back to a, closer to a white. And then I think what we'll do is we will try, what's the other area that we, folks, was it, was it accent four that we, or accent five that I skipped? No, accent four, I think. Accent four. Let's try that with the dark brown. Oh, I kind of dig this. I kind of dig this. What do you folks think? Don't chase people away. We lose everybody. <laughs> it's, it is in every kit. Thank you. Babs has pointed out like, I really appreciate when people can recognize my amazing talent of singing in brand new keys or across multiple keys, because I don't believe that talent like mine should be limited to just normal chords like everybody does, or normal ranges that are comfortable for the human ear. Um, I think that I should be able to sing however I want. Let's color these eyebrows. Let's color these eyebrows. Hold up. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Here we go. See these, oh, I was legit about to complain and say that we need different, uh, we need like kind of some different options and stuff for this. Um, but there are three colors in this. Let's go. Why didn't I write down some of my other colors? Let's go with, 6B3B03. Three, three. Whoops. Let's go with that. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I needed to write down the other colors. Give me a second, folks. I'm going to go back to the head really quick, and I'm going to capture those other colors. We really need to work on, like, a way for you to, like, create and save a palette but it is surprisingly a lot of work. I want this 43311B. And we only have like a few developers. So all of this work is like, everything is a lot. Everything is a lot. Um, we've got F, nine, E, C, E, six. I don't know. I'm just a stickler for making sure that we've got A7, seven one three zero that we've got like that i have like color consistency um five nine two seven zero e and last but not least this really light color a oh a seven seven one three zero i use that in two places sweet 
Sweet. Um, I don't want to miss anything in chat. Nope, I'm not missing anything in chat. All right, let's get in here. So I think I'm going to go with the darker brown on the outside. Let's see what uh, uh, that was four three three one one B, I think. Right? Like you guys like are writing it down with me. Um, oh, that's cool. Sweet. All right. Then let's figure out where this is. Where's the third accent? Oh, sweet. All right. All right. I'm, I'm excited. I got this. I got this. We got this. Um, let's try the 6B3B03 for this. And then I think what we'll do is we'll bring in um, that really light color in, in for the final accent. This is going to be that A77130. Is that right? Sweet. And then we just need the ears colored for this. Oh, Horace is coming along. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Bump, bump, and I just can't hide it. Bump, bump. I'm about to color his ears and I think I like it. Oh my gosh, we just had people jump in while I was singing and they're legitimately gonna leave. Oh no! Why? My timing for singing could not have been worse. No. Um, I'm really sorry for any whose ears I have offended. Um, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I am I am as much a victim as you are. All right, we're gonna try, we're gonna try a slightly different color pattern for the ears, I think. Usually when I do like a two pace, two pace, two piece, wait, right and left asset. Let's say that, I can say right and left asset. Usually when I'm doing like a, a, a matching assets thing, what I'll do is I'll make sure because I don't want to lose my colors. I'll just pick like, I'll just color the base both times. Um, I think we'll go with a slightly darker on the inside. Uh, that color again was 43311B. I think. Yeah. Sweet. And then let's go to that accent. Oh, and I'm gonna leave the inside like a slight off white, I think, cause that's sharp. I like the, the contrast that that gives, but I don't want it to be like a perfect white. I feel like that's too blinding. So we're gonna go to accent two and pick a slight, like here, I am i don't care as much if I pick like a perfect like match as the other whites I've done. I just don't think it's like as critical. And now I'm gonna go down in here to the accent and I'm gonna pick from the palette. Look at this. Oh no, we lost that. Maybe my singing attracted the people and uh, and now, yeah, maybe I do need to sing more. Hold up, here we go. All right, sweet, sweet. Let's get into the skin. I think horse is coming along pretty cool. What do you guys think? Is this an alpha character you would use? Would you guys dig this alpha? Bum, bum, bum. What's our base? gonna be i don't think we want to go with the super dark brown i think we want to go with like the dark brown which uh one one b yes maybe maybe i might change my mind i am prone to mind changing oh oh no nope 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 i think it's the 6B3, B03, maybe? Yep, yep. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wait. No, I don't think owls eat chicken. So that's okay. That's okay. Let's get to our next accent, I think. That's that. I do want to put in... How do I... How do we want to do this? Do we want a white chest? Or do we want uh, some color in the chest and white dots? I'm leaning towards color in the chest and white dots. So let's color this. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's, let's see if we stick in the same... Oh! Yes, I like sticking in the same vein. And what we'll do is for this lower portion, we'll actually go with that slightly darker... Which one is it? I love now. I don't, I don't know. I have all these accents written down, but I don't know which ones are which. Let's go. Let's try F9 E C E6. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. That's way too light. Let's try five nine two seven zero e maybe maybe yep that works for me i actually wish that i could color like this outside of the same thing but we we already have like a bunch of colors i'm going to pick this and i'm going to try that really really dark in here for or no 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 uh let's bring in 6b the color from the main body so that it kind of blends in a little bit let me unpick the color so i can kind of see this oops hold up Mm, no, that just looks weird. <laughs> that looks weird. My, I, I chose poorly. I chose poorly, but at least my face doesn't melt when I choose poorly. That is a benefit of our app. I should, maybe I should advertise that. I should be like, your face does not melt if you make bad choices. I don't know if people will get the Indiana Jones reference or not. Um, let's turn this off. I think we're gonna, um, yeah, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work if this body part isn't. Since we have to fix this anyways, maybe we'll also make this outside body part another color so that you've got kind of these, a few more gradients. Um, I think, let me go, mm, these are hard choices. Um, what do you guys think about the white on the arms? Should we kill the white on the arms and just do another brown or... Oh, oh, I know, I know. I got this, I got this, I got this. Watch this, watch this. We'll keep the white on the chest. Where's that really pale color we did? I think that's the A77130. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, hold up, turn the picker off. Yeah, I dig that, I dig that. I gotta wait, I gotta wait to pull all this together now. I got this. I got this. Oh, oh, Jamie, why did you not think of this? Wait, wait. That looks kind of cool, right? I just, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We got to find a way to feather in the legs and stuff. Maybe I'll just leave it the correct brown color. I'll just make it the correct brown color, which is, is it this? I'm just, now I'm just hitting random, random brown colors. Um, I think our main body is the 6B3B03. I could like legit color all day i don't know about you guys like for me like this is like an important part i think what we'll do is this accent that i made really dark i'm going to turn that back to like this kind of like 
off-white color and I'm gonna bring that in for this accent too. I'm gonna pick the same thing. Sweet. Um, and I'm gonna turn that off. And I gotta color the legs now. You're gonna see the issue with the legs that I don't like um, here in a second. This is pretty sweet, I think. Wait, no, hold up. There's something that's not colored. Accent five. Oh, accent six. Here it is. I want this to be the same to be blended in so we don't have as many spots. So this is what's really cool is that you essentially can turn like spots on and off to some extent so that we've got kind of just one cohesive pattern. Oh, I know. I like the, I don't, I like, Never mind. I like this. <laughs> oh, duh. Look, watch this. Um, how do I get this more into like a reddish brown? I think uh, we'll do this kind of peach color. So it kind of creates like a, um, a little bit of like a tan patterning. That'll look pretty cool, I think. Cross your fingers with me. Hold up. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> I turned the color picker off and then I immediately turned it back on because that's what I do. Look at this. Sweet. I am digging this. I am digging this. All right, let's color the legs really quick and let's color the hands and then let's dress Horace Alfred Hubert the third. I am Horace Alfred Hubert the third um leg color we want that same brown which is i keep yeah i'm gonna end up having this color memorized unfortunately that is uh that is a pain i do not need that in my brain i kind of want to change it to the eagle legs Oh, but if I do that, I've got to go back into the back end of the app and change the uh, the settings of where the legs fall. So I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> so we are going to just deal with, I'm going to change, color the nails now. They're going to be black talons because that's kind of the thing. Um, and now let's get the the hands. Look at this. This is cool. I do think that we're only going to have time for one character because unfortunately this is not what I can spend my whole day on. I would love to though. It's not fair. Why don't I have like $20 million so I can just like build the app however I want and put in cool features and hire a bunch of people and pay them bunches of money and then sit and create and color characters all day. Like that's legitimately like what I thought would happen. I was like, oh, let's build this app and then I'll play with it like all day, every day. And that is not what has happened. <laughs> that is not what has happened. Um, I I barely get to play D and D anymore. It is a uh, it is a shame because um, I wanted to do this so that I could create really cool animated stories and web comics based on my D and D games and other ideas that I had. And that is what you will be able to do at some point as you will be able to kind of create all that kinds of stuff. But I I will, I am quickly recognizing that I will no longer ever have time to do that again. Um, I think we're gonna use this kind of texture color on here to bring in kind of that, that kind of yellowish color that you often see in like a chicken leg or I think, I don't know why I said chicken that way, in a chicken leg. Chicken, uh, or like in a bird, in an actual bird leg. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. Here we go. Pick it. Look at this. Look at this. This is pretty fantastic, folks. This is pretty fantastic. If you have owl folk suggestions or any kind of suggestions for the app, like shoot us a message on our. Oh wait, we got we got a first time. Hey, hello, Mixstat, Mixstat. Thanks for joining us. 
We're excited to have you like smiling with us. Um, but if you guys get ideas for stuff, like legitimately write us at hello at beneverending.com or go in the app, hit the little question mark thing, send in the feedback. Cause there is like where you can make, there is a, a form for you to specifically make art requests. And then <gasps> Michelle, Woo! Michelle in the house. So I legit went to high school with this person. Isn't that crazy? We were in high school together. We were in a photography class together. That's so crazy. So crazy. I'm so excited. I love having friends support me and show up and see my antics and everything. All right. But I was saying, if you if you all have ideas for things, please like send us stuff. We want to create stuff for you. So perfect example, we had somebody. Oh, we're missing some hats that haven't been fitted. We had somebody, uh, the, the this body is like a new body and we haven't like gotten all of the old assets kind of onto, onto it. But we've literally created some of this stuff specifically because people asked for it. Like we had somebody want winter hats and look at these cool winter hats, hold up. Look at that. It fits a little oddly on this. I think it's because we didn't want the ears to pop out, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this is killing me. This is killing me. Oh, uh, when Horace is having a bad day, he might wear that mask, but I think not. So let's take that off. We could legitimately go and add and add like a, let's see if there are any lower masks. Oh, None have been fit to this head. For shame. For shame, illustration team. All right, so this is our undergarment section. By the way, we are, I totally understand that it makes no sense to have bottom undergarments in chest. I, I don't know why I did this. So this, we're changing this, obviously. And that, well, I shouldn't say obviously. We are changing this so that these will show up under legs. Um. I feel like Horace is a little fancy. Like, I mean, he is a, a Horace Alfred Hubert III. So I feel like we want a fancy kind of undershirt. Some of these, like you might not think of them in terms of undershirts, but if you want to consider it in terms of layers, it's just like the bottom most clothing layers. So we could pick like something like, like this, but I feel like I legitimately don't know what just happened. Like WTF, hold up, <laughs> hold up. Somehow it pulled, that's so random. That is so random. Hold on, let me pull this head off. I apologize, folks. I apologize, I don't know how that happened. Um, I feel like the, uh, I do like, by the way, how this kind of floats underneath the, uh, the feathers. So it's like, but I, I feel like this isn't fancy enough. I feel like this is like almost like a peasant. This is a little better, maybe. Oh, the angle on this is a little bit off, but I feel like this is probably the closest. I think he needs something like truly fancy, very roughly. The only thing that makes me sad is like now, now I don't see, hold up. He's going into the office. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why this is like, this is like killing me. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that like once you put a shirt on them, it like, you can't see the cool pattern anymore. Like I, I spent all this time, I spent all this time like coloring the chest so that you could see, like, look at that. And now, and now you don't see it. Like, why did I, why did I bother? I could have just put clothes on him and colored the stuff that we don't see. Anywho, doesn't matter. Let's see what we can throw up on top. Um, I don't know if any of these are a real fit for on top, but some of them are set up so that they can layer. <gasps> the sleeves on this don't work. You are gonna have assets, I think, that just don't, that aren't like a fit, like that don't layer on top of each other. A lot of these 
we had them like what we were focusing on was being able to add in like a chest armor piece or like you know like a harness or something like this um it's not necessarily so that you can throw like another shirt perfectly over it but i think that he's not really an armor wearing kind of owl uh i don't think he's an armor wearing kind of owl so let's find <gasps> fancy vest he is a fancy vest kind of owl we could go with this fancy vest or or do we try a simpler vest i think that's up a little high i think that's up a little high it could come down or well wait what is horace is he like i feel like horace is kind of a wizard i feel like that's kind of horace alfred hubert the third like having a very academic uh academic kind of wizard feel makes feels like it makes sense by the way this is one of the assets here that you can get it is not based on dragon ball z even if it looks like it's based on dragon Ball. i've never i don't even know what dragon ball z is actually i just made that word up but i do know that when you create your first character in the app you actually unlock this and some other assets that go along with it um but I just want to try out a couple of things. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It gives kind of a, a little bit of a Doctor Strange vibe to me, along with, I just feel like the, um, what I don't like is I feel like this should be a little bit wider so that we don't have this cut off. So I'm on the fence with that one. I'm on the fence with that one. I feel like, I feel like we could also even just go kind of like a fancy, Eh, meh, meh. I think that's a meh. I'm not. I'm not keen on that. Um, <laughs> I think we could go. We could go in a fun direction. Um, I do like the fact. So legitimately, like all of these like uh, outfit options that like code female. Um, all of these things that kind of code female uh, fit on the bodies that code male. And that's because you should be able to like create whatever you want, right? Like, who are we to say like, oh, that only goes on this kind of body. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I should, let me get serious. Let me get serious. Cause you guys want to see a cool character created and I'm just playing. Um, oh, we could have legitimately gone with this. I, I wouldn't have put the undershirt underneath it then, um, except I do like this. We had to find a, a, a way, like a neck piece, I think, for that, um, so that we could have like this kind of cool poet shirt. Um, let's go back up. I think we'll stick with the fancy shirt, with the fancy vest. Um, let's give it some color right now before I forget. What color palette, you guys? Does anybody want to throw in some color palette ideas for him? For Horus? I feel like blue. Blue is like a very royal color. I feel like a dark blue. Oh, that's too dark. Let's go more royal, right? What do you guys think? Blue? Or like even like a purplish blue would be sick. That'd be sweet. I think this is kind of purplish blue. I could take it a little bit more, a little bit more purple, just a tad more, just a tad more purple. Then what's a good accent? Anybody, anybody, Bueller, Bueller, orange, orange. I'm going to just pick orange because it's, it's like right there. And then, um, <gasps> Gold. Gold for the, uh, doo -doo. you know what I'm trying to say, the um, lapels. I could not think of the word. Gold for the lapels. I dig it. And for the buttons. Gold on the buttons. Gold on the lapel. Everywhere. Everywhere. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we need pants. 
we need pants. Does Horace wear pants? I feel like Horace would wear pants. Um, again, though, it's kind of a weird thing, right? Because they have owl parts. Why do they need pants? I don't know. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. All right. Let's see. Um, I do feel like we have a lot of pants, but I feel like we don't have like a lot of like noble pants. You know what I'm saying? Like we need more like pantaloon type stuff. Oh, I actually dig this. All right, guys, don't forget this choice. He's not Donald Duck, so pants are necessary. <laughs> Valentine makes a point. Valentine makes a point. These are kind of okay. These are no. I feel like these wraps are like, do not, the, these wraps do not fit at all with this. I'm liking the first choice the most. Let's go, let's go up really quick and see what else we have though. Um, definitely not torn jeans. These, by the way, these unlock, these absolutely not Naruto pants. I think they're called 100% not Naruto pants. Please don't sue us um, is the correct part name. If you create 30 characters, 30 or 50 characters, you uh, you unlock these. You actually unlock like three sets. <clears throat> so you unlock like one set that is not based on Goku from Dragon Ball Z at all, even remotely, uh, when you create your first character. Then you unlock like 10 like a bunch ton of anime faces if you create 10 characters. Um, also, not at all based on Dragon Ball Z, even a little bit, because I've never seen that show. So how would it be based on that if I've never seen it and don't even know what it means? Uh, and then you get three outfits, um, not based on Naruto and Sasuke and somebody else. Um, not based on them at all. Not even inspired by, because again, never seen that show. I have no idea what you're talking about. This this is one of the pants also that then unlocks as well. Again, not at all related to Naruto, as you can clearly, clearly see. Um, let's find... We could kind of do these. These are kind of fun. No, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm really feeling those first pants that I picked. I feel like that's... I feel like that's the winner. Um, let's just go down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's kind of cool. What do you guys think? Those pants or, or all the way down at the bottom, these pants. What do you guys think? Somebody chime in, whoever chimes in first picks the pants before I pick them. I don't know. I'm on the fence. They're both really good. They're both really good. I think I'm just gonna pick, uh, uh, visit our online app to, oh, duh. <laughs> I, really, I think we're gonna pick the shorter pants. The one with the fur. The one with the fur does not fit. This is Valentine's, <clears throat> this is Valentine's up, uh, uh, preferred pants um these which do not fit the theme at all that's like really weird that's like, it's like he lost his pants and then had to find somebody's pants on that i think we'll go with this it's simpler to color there's like one <clears throat> there's like almost no colors to this so i think um from a color perspective, let's go with like, let's go with a bright color. Let's maybe to, um, to kind of fit with the gold, let's maybe go with like a brighter yellow. What do you guys think? Is that too much? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like maybe a fade, oh, oh, that is a hard pass for me. That is a hard pass. Let's try in the oranges. Um, <clears throat> I can never like get like a good yellow. My yellows come out like either too like lemon or green or something else. It's like, oh, I could go in the blue. I could go in the blue direction. Let's go in the blue direction. That's easier. I think it's easier to find a good blue color. 
because then we can go like we can go into like this like a more kind of slate blue yeah see see oh and then watch this watch watch this boom boom right there right there <clears throat> or should i pull in the or no i think the orange pops more if there's not other orange or maybe i do go more in the gold direction so it's kind of like more matching with the with the vest a little bit or should we like match i'm gonna nah i'm gonna go i'm gonna complimentary i'm not gonna go matching um we're not gonna put boots actually i, I think there are no boots for these legs at all um so if i even if i just click the boots <clears throat> even if i just click the boots option it's all uh i'll hold on one second i do have to double check and make sure that i don't have i don't have any meetings scheduled right now <laughs> i'm super paranoid about this so should Horace have a friend? That's the question. Hold up, hold up. We could have, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> wait, wait, this is legitimately. We should not, we should not do this because then I'm not sure if that's a pet or a snack. That could lip. That could be a pet or a snack. It's probably a bad idea. So no, no on this. By the way, we gotta tilt this guy because it's a weird, it's a weird position. I the reason why we've got multiple of these is so that they can be like in different spots. Um, but I I don't think that we're gonna go with something like this. I feel like Horace is like a dog person or a dog owl folk. You can see that we've got all oh, legit cute. How freaking cute is this? Look at this. How freaking cute. It's a little blurry. What's that about? What's that about? I don't know why the resolution looks a little bit odd on that. I'll have to look into that and see what's up. But this guy is super cute. This guy is super cute. But I don't feel it fits the tone very well. So hold up. Hold up. Uh, look at this hair. This hair is nuts. Um, we do not want a fox or a reindeer. We do not want a fox or a reindeer. I don't feel like coloring the animal. So I think we're just going to grab one of the... Oh, the colored dogs must be down here. Hold up. Aren't there colored versions of the dogs? Did anybody see those? They should be in better order. Uh, oh, I love the flying cats. Who remembers what the flying cats are called? They have like a name. I don't, I don't remember what they are. Oh, legit. Pirate Horace Alfred. How bad would it be to have like an owl, <laughs> an owl familiar? Like, wouldn't that be weird though? Like to like be like a, an owlin or something and then like there are legitimately owls. You got like, yeah, I think we're going to go with the dog though. I think he's got a loyal, trusty dog companion. That works for me. Do we want to add, add a belt or is, or is he done? I should hit save by the way at some point. This has an auto save feature. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about this. Because so here's the thing, we have this auto save. So every time you make a change, it, it saves. But the downside is that if I have like a saved character and I'm just mucking about with it and I don't save and I hop out, it like, it like keeps that, that saved version. Oh, this is somebody calling me. This is a boy calling me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. Oh, wait, what happened to it? Hold on, hold on. I'm, you're on speaker and I'm on live stream, so don't say anything like that you wouldn't say if you were did not want to be on live stream. But say hi to everybody. Hi. Say hi. Hi. See, this is my friend. This is my friend. I haven't talked to him in forever, so I'm not gonna like talk to him on live stream, folks. 
but I haven't talked to him forever. And somebody hit the pole outside your house, so your like service is down yeah, or something. Yeah, the tractor right in front of the farm, and they told the tractor, and they hit a pole, which was like our service inside, like our internet service and our phone service win the house. So I don't have service in the house, so we're oh. they're supposed to be here today. So I have it outside, but I'm not really going outside. You know, I'm yeah. like going to work yeah. pretty much. So. But it's pretty much, uh, no, I have nothing in the house, so I can't really do anything on the computer. I'm sorry. Or so so okay. I will, I will, yeah. uh, so can I, I will probably be done with stream in like, I don't know. How long do you think, folks? Like 10 minutes? <laughs> We're basically yeah. done with Horus, so. Yeah, but, the thing is, you can, you can keep calling, but I, every time I pick it up, it never picks up. So that's, oh, that's the thing, you know, I, yeah, I that's, that's a funky thing, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, okay? Okay. We'll figure it out. I'll talk All to you right. later. Enjoy the meeting. <laughs> no, it's not a meeting. I'm on I'm on oh. Twitch. We're live streaming. We've got oh, yeah. we've got nine people watching us right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exciting. Oh. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, right, right. right, bye bye. Alright, so oh wait, hang up. There we go. Hang up. So I have like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything. Um, but we haven't talked in forever and like every time he's called I like have had to hang up or not pick up the phone or whatever So I was like, I didn't want him to think that I don't want to talk to him ever again So I don't know. I don't think horse needs a belt <laughs> Was that too weird and distracting to have like me legitimately talking on the phone? <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Um, I could I could give him like a staff or something that would better indicate that Horus is a wizard, maybe. Or a wand. We need wands. It's for Strixhaven. <gasps> they... Oh, the bird hands are brand new, folks. The bird hands are brand new, so there's nothing equipped to them yet. This makes me sad. It's because there's no grip view. Nobody has uploaded a grip view yet. Aw, I don't want to go out on a sad thing. I don't want to go out on a sad thing. Do we, uh, so let's look really quick and decide if Horus gets, we need more like jewelry because this is like the only jewelry that we have and it, it, I think doesn't really fit. So that's okay. We did make a really cool owl folk. Um, here's a really neat trick though, okay? We're gonna just, uh, let me turn this off. We're gonna go back into build. Now don't swap out the body because we don't have it made yet, uh, fixed yet. So that way when you swap the body, it, it keeps everything. But what I can do is I can swap certain things. So if I go to the ears, I can actually change the ears and it keeps the same colors. So even if I change into like completely different ears, like if I put dog ears on him, like it keeps that or the cat ears, it like keeps the colors and it keeps them in like the same order as well. So accent one remains accent one and so on and so forth. Let's put the ears back on here really quick. But I wanted to show that, that to you guys. And I also want to show you that it works with the eyes and everything else. Let me get into the eyebrows oh there's no um you know what we didn't do what i didn't show you guys really quick is that we do have some uh some different crests and stuff so like these can work for different bird characters too you can kind of create like look at that look how cool that looks we're not going to add that though i don't think it fits but this is the last thing. We're almost done. We're gonna, I just wanna show off the eyes again and uh, kind of play with some different eyes really, really fast. Let's first look at the eyebrow switching and see how that looks. Oh, look at that. And then if I wanna zoom out really quick, I just can hit the equip button if I wanna see the whole body um, really fast. I can see him. Aw. He looks so much sweeter now. He looks super sweet. But he's a very serious bird. He's a very serious bird. The only other thing I do want to show you guys is uh, staging. I can put him in a place 
and and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, I can, what were some of the eyes that we liked? Not these, these are mean eyes. Look at that, look how mean he looks. Um, where were, where were, where are they? Where are they? Oh, the cat eyes, I did want to see that. Ooh. But it's these sweet boy eyes that I wanted to see. These are the best. These are the best. Oh, they just disappeared. Hold on. <laughs> That's mildly terrifying. I'm not going to lie. That is mildly terrifying. Um, so we don't have the color for this. I could just very easily, though, color this so that we had like a, a more anime feel to this. And I could make this like a kind of dark color if I wanted. And let me uncolor it or uh, unpick it, unpick it. No, 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 whoops, hold on. Yes, no, a little darker, just a tad darker. Um, so then we can kind of get this kind of anime, you know, fun anime look uh, going, which is pretty cool. Look at that. How, oh, I hate when I click stuff accidentally. So if we wanted to go with kind of like that anime owl look, like this is this is how it looks. This is how it looks. And we've got all these expressions to choose from so that you could legitimately like create a whole like kind of comic, uh, comic book with, or uh, you know what I'm trying to say, like a whole comic thing. We do have the scene creator coming out in a few weeks, a couple of weeks. I keep saying that because our devs keep like saying this is taking a long time to do stuff, but they're legitimately working on it, and soon you will be able to do that. Um, but these are these are sweet. I actually really like this for Horus. Um, or, but I feel like I should actually go back and just add the owl eyes back in for right now. Um, hold on, owl eyes. Not these ones. Oh, that looks nice. It looks very serious there, but. I think I want to go back with our original big eyes. There we go. Oh no, it changed the, oh, cause I did have a third accent picked. Oops, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let me fix this, let me fix this. That's a reminder ding for me that I have stuff going on coming up. All right, let's go into staging where we can stage Horus. Alfred Hubert the third who is super cool with his dog so I can put him on like a platform if I want like to say like oh he's out in the woods you know or if he's like you know in like a spooky place this is actually this platform is actually low-key terrifying for me I don't know what that's about but we could like if he was like in a tavern or I just wanted something neutral, I could do that. But these are so you kind of have this kind of 2D miniature feel. And again, I would love feedback on these and for you all to be like, hey, you guys should do this or send us like art references, tell us what you want. Oh, we gotta fix this because his little feet are coming off of it. Um, I'm gonna take the background off because I wanna actually, or the base off because I actually want to put him in a background. I don't feel like he's kind of a dungeon delver. Like if he were to come into the dungeon, it would be very much against his will. So I'm leaning towards like this kind of town one, but I just want to peek at these. These are really big files. So they do take like a minute, not a minute, but like they take a few seconds to load up. Um, so I could place him in a few different places. Look at this, whoops. Oh, he could be in a tavern. Oh, I feel like he's coming to see a show. Oh, but then the dog wouldn't be with him. I don't think they'd let dogs in. Oh, maybe they would. It's not modern times, it's a fantasy setting. So maybe they do let dogs in. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, this almost makes him feel like a bard though. And he is not a bard. He is much too serious. Horace Alfred Hubert III is much too serious to be a bard. Much, much too serious. So I think, 
He's not going to be in a treasure room or in a wasteland. Again, not by choice at least. No wastelands by choice. No swamps by choice for sure. For sure no swamps by choice, right? Um, I still feel like that first image is like the best one. Oh, yes. This would be like a not ideal situation for him, but it's pretty sweet, right? The coastlands. Like if you have a piratey character, like that definitely helps communicate that they're a pirate. Whoops. Spooky town. Spooky town. We could put him in a spooky town. Um, but I don't feel like he's spooky. Hold up. I think these might be some of the last ones. Yeah, then it's all color blocks. Let's go all the way back up to the very top. And I think, I think this is perfect. I think, yeah. Sold for the low, low price of, I don't want to click anymore. Hit save, hit save, hold up, hit save. Saved and now, now I, I have a couple of choices now after he saves. I can just straight up download him. So hit the more button. And here you get like some options, like I can get a share link. So if I wanted to set him up, so if I wanted to send somebody a link just to this character, I would retrieve the share link. Or I could set him as my profile in uh, as my profile on the app. I could add some tags to him. So if I wanted to put like bird folk, Owlin, Strixhaven, D and D, I could add all those tags to him. Um, you know, which is pretty easy. You just literally D and D. I just hit space. I could be like Owlin, all folk. Um, if I wanted to like, if I wanted to say like, oh, I want all my male characters, I want all my wizards, like be, this is useful for like sorting your library. So I could put Strixhaven. So if I wanted all my, whoops, all my Strixhaven characters together. Um, and then I could search by any one of these, all the characters in my library, and they would just pop up all my Strixhaven ones. Or if I had like a specific group, like maybe I am doing a, I'm kind of setting up a one shot. And so it's going to be like a, like maybe it's my, I could be like, uh, my total, whoops. I could put like total strangers one shot. And maybe that's the group that I put in, you know, or, and I could just do that too. So I can save all of these. Oh, I could even just do 5e. Like you have, you can just save tons of tags and I just save those and all those tags are saved. I could add a character bio. So if I wanted to go up in here and like be like, oh, Owlin or Horace Owlin Hubert III comes from a long line of owl folk. And I could put a little quote in here and Maybe that's, <laughs> don't you who at me. <laughs> Anyways, um, it, it makes it really easy. I can also change this from public to private if I wanted to. And look, you get that cool like little eye thing. How sweet is that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. I love it. I love it. Um, You know what we don't have though? We don't have a back button, but it's okay. Because if I hit the character builder, he comes right back up. Oh, lies and deceit. Lies and deceit. I don't know why that didn't happen. It should have come right back up. But he's here, so it doesn't matter. And I I can just go into edit so that I can, I can, I didn't, oh, I didn't have to do that. Like I can, I just didn't, wasn't, I wasn't done showing you guys the more section. I got distracted. My brain distracted me. Um, Big Pupper! Yes, we got Big Pup. It's a hoot. Who, who is TTRPG Gibbs? Well, thank you for being on. So I actually can do the download from my library as well. I don't have to like do it from the character builder. I can just be in the library. Um, and as you can see, we have just a couple 
of characters in the library. These are the NP uh, NPC tokens that we're coming out with. Look at these. How sick are these? These are awesome, right? These are fantastic. Like, I am loving these. There's so much variety in these. And we've got, like, Captains of the Guard. Fantastic. Um, or Guard Lieutenant. City Guard Lieutenant Human Female 01. So I can just go back up. Ah, uh, a Madrigal. Horace Alfred Hubert III. And I can download him just like that. Um, and we will download a PNG. I could do a WebP. So like if you have tokens and you use uh, Foundry, the Foundry, it's all WebP. So you just select WebP. It's only available on Chrome though right now to download that way because... Chrome, while well, WebP is like a Google file format for images, it's similar to like SVGs in that it's a vectorized file, which means it can have, in theory, infinite scaling up and infinite scaling down without losing any quality. But for now, we're going to make it a PNG. We're not going to make it a GIF because there are no GIF assets attached right now. And so then I have my Horus PNG here. Um, the other really thing, really cool thing is if I go to delete this character, <gasps> look at this, please know why, please know why. Do you really want to delete me forever? Once I'm gone, I'm gone. That's it. You think you can toss me out and expect me to just come back? No way. I'll be gone for good. Well, I don't want to delete him. So, but I just thought that was kind of funny. Anyways, that's it. That's it. That's our owl folks. So we, we have the one that I created last night. Um, a Madrigar, and then we have uh, Horace Alfred Hubert the uh, Third. But yeah, that's it. This is our character creator. It's pretty cool, right? And uh, I can also check out other people's characters. Hold up, hold up. It's gonna take a second here. Um, oh, these are profiles. I want to hit characters. I was like, what? But I can see what people are making and I can actually sort, <gasps> look at this. I can see who they're made by and I can go check them out. And these are only viewable if people leave their characters as public. And you can see that there's a lot of like in progress stuff. Um, and I can change this to newest, like that sort. Let's hope this works. Oh, cool. Somebody was on Cretan while I was creating. I'm so excited about that. I don't know why. I'm super excited. This character is sick. Hunter the Brave is... That's sweet, right? Oh, somebody did not finish creating. I think this person, uh, Kualu, is still like in the midst of being created. I am mildly frightened. I don't know what's going on here. There... Hold up. I gotta click this character to see... There is a Z index issue because this is coming through the face, which is super, super terrifying. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to have nightmares. I'm legitimately going to have nightmares after seeing that. That's like nightmare fuel. It's like worms coming out. Oh, this half elf druid is sick. Anyways, that's it. We were talking about owl folk. We created some owl folk. Uh, we're done. We're going to go out with the video. We're going to just um, throw up a really quick video and then we're going to throw up our uh of just like a, a tiefling getting created or something else i don't care um one of them babs will throw it up she'll pick whichever video she wants and then we'll throw that up and then we'll throw up the stream ending soon but i want to thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with me we hung out for more than an hour an hour and a half i was only supposed to stream for uh 45 minutes but i i took a little long and I really appreciate you guys hanging out. So I hope you enjoyed checking out all the cool the cool owl folk and the cool options that you have. Oh, I didn't give him wings. And in Strixhaven, the owl and have wings. I should have done that, but it's okay. It's okay. You guys, you guys can figure it out now, but it's pretty cool, right? So thank you guys. Have a great one. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.